Time now for Sid Sixero. This is where I got 60 seconds to talk. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. Italian soccer players, Toronto FC. They go together like bruschetta and palazzos up in Vaughan. Just feels right. Previously, Sebastian Javinko won an MLS Cup here, and more high-profile Italians are on the way. Mel like the palazzos. $45 million man Lorenzo Insigne is coming to TL, plus veteran defender uh, Domenico Criccito. Why do Italian players come here? Why do they succeed? Well, the answer may surprise you. One of the most important members of Toronto FC is Captain Michael Bradley. He knows a thing or two about Italian soccer. Played in Italy for three seasons. And he can speak the language pretty well. Here's Bradley back in the day talking to the Italian media. Sì, certo. Dopo, dopo due, due sconfitte è stata una partita fondamentale per noi, anche, anche visto che la, la settimana prossima c'è il derby. Volevamo fare una grande partita, volevamo fare il nostro calcio. Scusi. Bello. Salute. I'm Michael Singh from MLSsoccer.com and The Parlay joining us, uh, who covers TFC, does a great job. Michael, great to see you. I'm not saying it's the be-all and end-all here, but having your captain know Italian pretty well can't hurt, right? Hey, decent start. It's a good way to get their new, uh, their new star signing face of the franchise acclimated to Toronto. No doubt, no doubt. So we're looking at July 9th here for Insignia's first game for Toronto FC. Um, I, I'm getting the feeling, Michael, just by watching Insignia, you've seen him as well. I know some Toronto fans aren't that familiar. He's that good, right? He's quite a player, and Bill Manning went as far as saying that Toronto FC have had a lot of really good signings come through the club, but they haven't had a player quite like Lorenzo Insigne decide to come over. You know, MLS has this kind of stereotype where it's sort of a retirement league where, you know, older players of this magnitude tend to come over, but he just turned 31 years old. There's an argument to be made that the best years of his career are still ahead of him. So it's quite exciting. He's just fresh off winning a European championship for Italy. And yeah, I still think he has quite a few goals left in him. Now, some people might be watching this who don't watch MLS week in and week out who are thinking to themselves, does one player really make that much of a difference? Can one guy really come into MLS and have that kind of impact? But Michael, we've seen it, right? We have seen it before, Sid. And what I'll say is that this is going to be another good measuring stick for the league. The league, the game overall in Canada and North America, it's, it's improving every year. And there used to be times where you could see a single player come over and really change the dynamic of a team. Now, Lorenzo Insigne, like I mentioned, haven't really had a player like him. What's he going to be like in MLS? Has MLS improved to the point where he doesn't make a difference? Or will he be able to, you know, put on a show for the home crowd down at BMO Field? I mean, uh, one final note on MLS. And look, I've been at times a little critical of MLS in terms of the star power that's come over here. And we're all waiting for the day where either Ronaldo or Messi decide to make that move to New York or L.A. because that'll be the story. But you have the senior signing in Toronto. You have Gareth Bale going to LAFC along with uh, Chiellini, former, another Italian international. It, it feels like slowly here, Michael, the, 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 the quality of it, it is, it is getting there. It's absolutely getting there, Sid, and it's great to see that Canada, United States, and Mexico are going to be co-hosting the World Cup sure. in 2026, and this league has really built their foundation towards that. I'm not sure if a lot of people have heard about the new Apple TV deal with Major League Soccer, but it's the first of its kind. It's a boatload of money that's going to be flooded and invested into the league, and I think the needle just keeps on moving in terms of how much better this league is getting, and it's attracting more star talent. And I think overall, this the domestic talent as well. When you look at what Canada and the U.S. are doing, it's improving as well. So, yeah, I think the, the future is bright in Major League Soccer, and it's slowly inching closer towards being a, a more respectable league on the world stage. Yeah, a lot of buzz about that Apple deal with Major League Soccer. A lot of buzz about July 9th in this city. Lorenzo Insigne's debut, we think, for Toronto FC. Michael Singh for the parlay. You're great, man. Let's talk again soon.